Hey guys, Wet Movie One back here again for another video for you guys today. I'm in Burbank, California right now, but a little bit later on tonight, I'm gonna be heading on over to a very special event and maybe, hopefully, meeting a very special certain somebody. But I already have a very special somebody with me right now. Oh, how, how thankful. Well, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? How you doing, bro? Good. Man, we've been hanging out a lot lately. It's like, it's, it's like we're lovers or I, something. I know, right? Uh, oh. What? <laughs> you, you smell like Old Spice and everything. Oh, yeah. I got my I got my nice shirt on. Yeah. You, oh, and you have like the chest hairs just coming out oh, from yeah. me and everything. <laughs> I like it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And the first stop of the day for this video, guys, is this place called Odds and Ends. Uh, Aaron knows about this place out here in Burbank. I've never been here before. Uh, you know what I mean? I like all the weird stores, so I... I find them and sometimes you can find treasures in the store, sometimes it's junk. Yeah. It all depends, you know? So let's head on in and see what kind of magic they have in here. Because from outside of the window, there's some really cool shit. Wow, guys, look at some of this cool stuff that they have in here. They have like the Blues Brothers uh, figures over here. Well, not figures, but you know, like standee kind of things. And there's a whole bunch of like weird knickknacky stuff, like High School Musical 2, like little like earrings or what have you, little piece bracelets and everything like that. And a real cool thing I saw over here was a Paddington bear. <laughs> a real Paddington bear, dude. That's pretty damn cool. But Aaron, dude, look at There's like all these different rooms. There's like DVDs and everything. And there's like all these different TV show seasons and like box sets and different things. This is like a real hidden kind of place. But check this out. They have all these Disney tins in here. I don't know how much they go for, but like they have all these ones, like the Donald Duck one. They have, uh, the Hardy, Hardy Boys one. one. They have like all these different Disney tins up in here. I wonder how much. Oh, $189. Oh, shit. Yeah, $189. I see the price tag on the back. How much is the Donald Duck one? Same. The $189. But he has like all these really cool things in here. Check this out. He even has a back room over here. We can't get to because it's, it's blocked off over here. I've just random other odds and ends. And I think he's going to be making this like another, uh, you know, thing for like comic books in, in the near future. But there's like all these like just random cool things like helmets from like the movie 300 and, you know, different, you know, books and VHS tapes of, you know, of the Highlander series just a bunch of really like what the hell like random kind of stuff in here and guys he also has a lot of these like rock like little like rock things i remember my mom's old like boyfriend back in the day he used to like you know make these things or like you know kind of like make the put the rocks together somehow i don't know how to explain or what the names of uh, these things these little rocks are but i used to have like a collection of these you know back in the day uh when i was a kid and oh this is cool this is kind of cool could it could there be a dinosaur in here who knows and see guys, he also has a lot of Blu-rays over here, but I found out all the Blu-rays are uh, $19.99 a piece, uh, no matter which one, you know, no matter what ones they are, and they're all brand new, but you have to like find, hopefully find something pretty rare, because they're all, all 20 bucks a piece up in here. Check this out, Fellowship of the Ring DVD 2 disc collection, $49.99. That was a <laughs> definite interesting little place that we just went to. It's like they, they had cool stuff a there. A lot of cool shit there. But it was like five times overpriced. Like they had that Lord of the Rings DVD for like 50 bucks. For 50 bucks. I mean, you can get the whole Blu-ray yeah, set, set for about that, about, that, yeah, about that price. And it, they had all those like Disney tins, which I think, <laughs> yeah, I think the price is that's how much they usually go for. Maybe more. That much? 200 Around something? there. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, that's why when a fluffy gamer finds them for like 25 bucks or 50 bucks, he just snaps them up yeah. real quick. You know, the Star Trek, the original series, he had the, the red and the blue one and they were like a hundred bucks each for, <laughs> for each season. All right, everyone, we're at our next destination of the day over here at the In and Out in Burbank. Before we head on over to our jazz show, Aaron has just gotten what did you get, man? Two, bah, bah. two double doubles. Oh, shit. you got to down both of them? Well, I, don't, I didn't get fries, so it kind of makes up. Uh, yeah, it does, huh? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but the thing is, um, I know a lot of you guys complain that I said that um, Mexican food in LA is the best. Well, you know what? In and Out burgers are the fucking best. I don't care what you say. Well, just got out of the In and Out over here, and no, I didn't get a, a hamburger or anything like that. Like I've been really struggling when it comes to the whole, you know, weight loss thing and trying to, you know, keep it, you know, under control. To be honest, over the last like year and a half since I've started a full-time job, you know, working at the place I work at, which I'm not going to discuss in a video, but I'm really struggling. But I'm, I'm really trying at the same time, to be honest. <laughs> All right, guys, we finally made it on over here to Los Feliz and everything to go see this jazz show. Uh, there's a special person that's at this place that I didn't know has a jazz band, and he's also involved in this movie series right here, Jurassic Park. 
Hmm, Jeff Goldblum? All right, guys, we finally made it on over here to the Rockwell. About to see Jeff Goldblum perform live jazz music. It should be kind of cool, right? Yeah, and just for the record, the fly is my favorite Jeff Goldblum. Oh, yeah, I was gonna ask you that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so let's head on in. We finally made it on into the event over here. We're heading on in to witness uh, Jeff Goldblum play jazz, which is gonna be really kind of cool. And hopefully, I can get a picture with him, maybe talk to him on camera. Who knows? <laughs> Guys, check this out. There's like a line of people up over here uh, waiting to take a picture and uh, talk to Jeff Goldblum and stuff. It's pretty cool, dude. Man, you don't usually see that from like celebrities like that. You know what I mean? You know, he's actually a really good musician. He, he was jamming on the piano, as you can see. Yeah. He's good, man. He's good. It, it was pretty cool, but hopefully we get to talk to him on camera. Maybe. Who knows? Okay, guys. I'm here with the legend Jeff Goldblum right now. Over here at the Rockwell... Rockwell. Yeah, we're here every Wednesday when I'm in town, not, not working. We, we have a residency here every Wednesday. So you're fortunately invited to come on down. But what, what got you into jazz? I didn't know you were a jazz musician until you know, now. Really? I, I've always played since I was a kid in Pittsburgh. And uh, then over the last couple of decades, we've been playing out and about. And here at Rockwell for the last few years. That's awesome. Can I ask you one last question? Sure can, what is your, one of your favorite movies of all time that got you into like acting? Stuff? Wow, wow, <laughs> wow, bro. Yeah. I just talked to Jeff Goldblum on video, bro. That was fucking, that's that, bomb, dude. That doesn't usually happen, man. A-celebrities like that don't usually talk to schmucks like me, like, <laughs> you know, on things like that. People, he is an A-lister. <laughs> yeah, like, holy shit, dude. Yeah. And, like, we got to hear him play music, which was cool. He was, like, you know, he's a pianist, or, how do you say that, a pianist? I, I think it's his penis. The whatever. <laughs> no, you know, he, he was playing, he was rocking out, man. Yeah, like, he, he was, did. like, making faces, like, you know, like, how people, play, when they play the guitar, like, Jimi Hendrix was, like, <laughs> remember, like, back in the day, how Jimi I, Hendrix would play? I couldn't have done it better, but, yeah, he was really, you know, really... Like, he was, like, all into, like, <laughs> it was it was amazing, you know what I mean? And dude, 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 bam! Jeff Goldblum signed my Jurassic Park trilogy. You might not be able to see it very well, but it's right there. He signed my Jurassic Park trilogy. Now that's sick right there. And we both got pictures with him. Yeah. You got one that you probably put on your Facebook already. Oh yeah. And I have one you probably saw on my Instagram promoting this video. But you guys let us know down below. What is your favorite Jeff Goldblum movie of all time? Because he's in a whole bunch of them. You said earlier in this video it was The Fly. The Fly, yeah. Do you have any others that you like? Because, of course, Jurassic um, Park well, is one of mine. Of course, Jurassic Park. Uh, Independence Day is cool. Independence Day. I love, there's a movie I like that not a lot of people talk about because I believe the director of the movie might have done something to other people back in the day, but I'm not sure. But that is the movie Powder. 
Oh yeah, yeah. I believe it's directed by the same guy that made Jeepers Jeep Creepers. Yeah, he uh, and that I think it's, the movie is called Clown House. Clown or? House. We're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> but like, I, I always liked the movie Powder, and he he was in that one. And uh, he's just he's just a really chill dude. He took pictures and like chilled with pretty much everybody that stood in that line. Yeah. Talked to talk to them for a couple minutes, a minute or two. Took pictures. It was amazing it was a great time i gotta say you know i mean this is this is part of my birthday week right now because my birthday is on sunday july 9th and this is awesome you know what i mean like come on now like if you went to a convention and saw jeff goldblum there it would probably cost you like 50 bucks or more to take a picture and or get an autograph from him yeah you know what i mean Cause that's how robert england is you know what i mean like mm -hmm. i'm sorry i'm just rambling right now it's just fucking <laughs> dope oh and, and for the record the reason i've been hanging out with this guy so much is that look at all the cool shit we do Look, you, get, you see the videos? We do cool shit all oh, the time. Oh, oh, and thank you, Frankie, for letting me know about this. Frankie is the, I saw Frankie a week or so ago take a picture with Jeff Goldblum saying he's at this place and he's here every other Wednesday or every Wednesday. And I'm like, thank you, Frankie. Thank you, Frankie. You guys don't know Frankie. He's a crew member, but holy shit, this was dope. Two, you know? two thumbs up. Yeah, def <laughs> definitely. Definitely two thumbs up. And let us know down below in the comments what's your favorite Jeff Goldblum movie of all time. And, I, I, you know, keep in mind, I couldn't control the audio when I was doing an interview with him because there was all these crowds of people talking, you know, music playing and all that kind of stuff. So forgive me. I'm not, you know, I don't have mics and shit. It's just like an on-the-fly kind of thing. But it was dope. Aaron, thank you so yeah. much for, uh, you know, coming on down oh, with yeah. me. It was fucking killer. Hey, uh, now wait a minute. We racked up like a $200 alcohol tab. Did you pay it? I don't drink alcohol. Oh, shit. Let's get the fuck Let's out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. See you later.